Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple panoramic assembly in Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to open the preview software here to show you the three angles we took of this castle. Um, these shots have been done in HDR, so they, they do have a surreal quality to them. Um, but once that has been assembled, they were saved as JPEGs at three separate angles. And what we're going to do is compile these into one panoramic shot. Um, let's just go into Photoshop here, launch the software. And uh, under Photoshop, it's kind of difficult to find if you haven't found it before. But if you go under File, Automate, Photo Merge, which doesn't say Panoramic Stitch, it just you have to kind of remember this from now on. And you have all these different options for how you're going to assemble these these photos. Um, auto seems to be fine most of the time. I'm going to try Perspective. I also want to click the Vignette Removal. When using a medium to wide angle lens, there is a shadowing in the corners and we want to remove that shadowing because when you put the two shots side by side you'll get these triangular cone kind of shaped shadows as the two vignettes go back to back we want to make sure that everything looks nice and smooth we're going to browse grab the three files and then we're just going to click OK and we're going to watch Photoshop do its work you think that you know when doing panoramic stitching it's something like that you'd have to manually do but it's all automated nowadays and totally highly intelligent. Sometimes it messes up and we'll see if that does this this time. Uh, but I did practice with this image earlier on and it was a successful stitch. When it's done, we're going to have three separate layers that are floating and it will show exactly how it did the stitching. And there we go. We have three layers and you'll see if I turn this one off, turn this one off, it's very, very fine stitching with a harsh line which won't show up later on after you flatten them. And in this case, I'm actually going to merge these layers. So merge layers. This doesn't flatten it down. It's still a floating layer. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I now want to transform this photo. We're going to zoom a little bit just so we can play with the corners. We're going to perspective this out. And rather than stretching it too much on the top, I'm also going to squeeze it in a bit on the bottom. Now, I'm going to hit Command R. It brings up the rulers. We're going to bring them in just to see how much distortion we have on that building left to go. I like to be very particular about having straight lines when doing architecture, unless you're going for the, the feel good shot. Um, sometimes a nice dramatic upwards angle can give you a different effect, but this here is purely technical architectural goal. So the overall shot is a bit. Transform skew. It's a bit askew. And we're going to shift the whole thing a bit more upright. And while it's not perfectly box grid like, it's naturally straight to my eye. So I'm going to clear my guides so I don't see them anymore. I'm going to layer, flatten my image. I'm going to grab my crop tool and bring the lines in. So we have a cropped image, shift command save and uh, create a new folder called final pano and save it in here. There we go. And we're done. 